We're kicking things off again with a Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. Two new images dropped this week, just little sneak peeks. Again, things to kind of just hold you over. One of these dropped the day that we posted a video about the images that dropped. So that was inconvenient. Yeah, that was fun. That that, that. happens a lot. It happens all the it's time. It's probably going to happen again with this one. So we're going to post this video, and then another image is going to come out. So yeah. pay attention to the Tech Chainsaw Massacre Twitter, just in case that happens again. Yes. Okay? All right, but first of all, we got a new image here of Sonny and Connie looking to get out of the basement. We'll talk about the details that we see in this image in a second. But first of all, the tweet said, When unlocking one of the basement doors, it doesn't hurt to have a fellow victim watch your back. Of course, Connie known for her unlocking ability, so that makes sense that she's rocking the unlocking skill here. While Sonny is watching alongside, he does have a bone shard in his hand, so he could save her if she does get attacked. I don't know how attacking from the front and behind works. There's a difference in that. Um, Beyond that, there's not too much going on in this image. Once again, we're seeing Sonny with the heart is a little bit orange this time around. Uh, We got some theories in our last video about that that potentially relates to blood being taken from you. Right. You would think at this point in the game, Sonny has not been hit. I mean, look at his health. Look at his, his health is full right there. So you would think he has not been hit which means you would think that blood has not been taken from him. So I don't think that's what it relates to. I'm sticking with the fear. I think fear makes the most sense that the higher your fear gets, the more you stumble, and your fear is represented in an actual visual way this time around with the heart. Whereas F-13, your fear just kind of, well, it it was visual, but it was... Tunnel vision, almost. Yeah, you know, you you start to get a a vignette around the corner of your screen, and then the... UI. Yeah, the HUD will go away, so... But this is, seems to be like very clear as day. You know, the the more that heart changes colors, the more danger you're in. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, beyond that, you don't see too much else. This image. I will say in the top left corner, we do have that little audio symbol there. So I imagine that relates to a teammate talking. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah, either or maybe that's your talking. Yeah, and then yeah. your teammates, probably their name. Yeah, the pops name up. comes up with it. Yeah, but because uh, this comes up all the time, I want to reiterate this: when it comes to talking in game and voice chat, there is voice chat in game, but you only can hear your teammates, and they can only hear you. If you are talking and a family member is right next to you, they won't hear you. You're not going to give away your position. It's not like F13 where it's proximity based. Right. This is just comes down to you can talk to your teammates at all time. That goes for the family and the victims. So just so you know, all right. Now, the next image, the cook here hanging out with Johnny as they're repowering that generator to electrify the fence. And what they say here, victims can disable the power that electrifies the cattle grid exits. After cooldown, the family can turn them back on to secure the property. So the, the one thing I think comes from this one that we didn't exactly know before was the cooldown side of things. Right. We always kind of thought that the second it got turned off, you just walk over, turn, turn it back, turn, on. turn it back on, run through a little bit of mini game and turn it back on. But I guess that's not the case. There is an actual cooldown, and as for how long that cooldown is, who knows? But uh, hey, look at that sunset though, beautiful, and it's gorgeous. I do feel like I am in Texas. Yeah, and that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I uh, also want to point out again here that. The little symbol in the bottom right-hand corner, that symbol, know for sure now, I went and checked, that is like the drawing that the hitchhiker puts on the side of the van in the movie with his bloody hand. I don't know if he intentionally made that symbol, but regardless, it's in the game now. And as for what that does, uh, by the way, mouse and keyboard, I think it's the first time I've seen mouse and keyboard gameplay. Oh, wow. Uh, That would be up on the D-pad if it was uh, on a controller. But yeah, pressing uh, that the middle key there on your your mouse activates whatever that is. Yeah. I don't know what... I don't even have a good guess. I, I would imagine it relates to... Because we see it's on all family members. Right. So we've seen other characters have the same symbol. So somehow it relates to the family overall. Uh, as for what it does, who knows? I don't know. Could be a quick reveal. Reveal everybody on the map. Kind of like what we see with Grandpa. Maybe. Short-term sense. But it, I don't know. It wouldn't really make sense to have like grandpa's uh excuse me the cook's listening ability and then to combine it with like another sensibility right next to it yeah seems a little weird so i'm sure it's something a bit different could relate to speed maybe speed him up temporarily maybe that'd be fun well i mean yeah he was drawing that symbol while running yeah against you know like 
racing a van, really. Yeah, you got to wonder if that symbol, it, they just wanted to get it in there somehow and this was their way of doing it, or if what's happening when that symbol is drawn is actually important to what the ability is. I doubt mm. it, but you know, there's only so much going on in that scene. Right. But, uh, just saying, that is what that symbol is. It's straight out of the movie, and that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Uh, I also wanted to point out a tweet that Game Dev Kev shared alongside this image. He quote tweeted it. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Game Dev Kev as a design director at Sumo Nottingham. And he says, such an important part of the Text Chainsaw Massacre game for the family is securing those exits before things get out of hand. But you got to remember to check them. And the reason I wanted to point that out is because I always assumed that if the generator was shut off by a victim that you would be alerted but this makes it seem like you're not alerted it'll just be sound yeah if you're not smart if you don't go and check that generator here and there whether or not the fence is still electrified you're screwed <laughs> you yeah. gotta you gotta be smart and you gotta go and, and make sure you're checking so i thought that was really interesting maybe it's kind of taken out of context maybe it's not what he meant but that just the way he worded that seems like Mm -hmm. You do want to go out of your way to check on these things because you probably won't get an audio cue that tells you that the generator right. itself is off. Yeah, exactly. It's not, like, it's not like the car starting or the boat starting in F-13. Right, yeah. So you got to be, uh, oh yeah, checking, listening. Yeah, sound, We've as we've been told over and over, is super important in yeah. Text Chainsaw Masker game. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's nice that, yeah, you have to go check them. Yeah, that's your Texas Chainsaw Massacre update for the week. Uh, hey, more generator use. Anytime a generator comes up, I'm always like, ah, just dead by daylight. And that's not how I feel. That's how everyone, I feel like that's what the comments we're going to get. You know, ah, generator, damn it. Yeah, we every time <laughs> there's yeah a mention of a generator for an electric fence, people are just like, huh, dead by daylight, rip off. Like, yeah, I, I highly doubt you're going to be sitting there. Uh, you know, pulling down levers and putting wires like Dead by Daylight. I don't okay. think that's going to be all you do. I don't think the whole game is going to be uh, one mini game. Yeah. Uh, no. It'll be a completely different mini game, I assume, as well, just based on like yeah. what we've seen. It could just be like literally rapid fire tapping, like we've been seeing with the sound. Right. So it could just be that. But um, yeah, don't over, don't overthink it. Yeah. Just because there are hooks in the game, just because there are generators in the game, does not mean it's Dead by Daylight. <laughs> it seems very different. Uh, I, it's interesting that they went together as well. You know, the Cook and Johnny riding together. Ride or die, baby. You know, the Cook could definitely be doing something more important right now. Yeah, I mean, he's got to watch, watch, uh, watch his lad's work. I, he, I guess. Now another generator is being shut off while he's standing there watching the sunset and Johnny's ass. Maybe this is when he's yelling at Johnny. Could be. I, well, I how'd do. you let him <laughs> shut the generator off? Will you hurry the fuck up? <laughs> you turn, hey, turn the fence off. <laughs> Maybe, maybe.